you may think you know the artist Grayson Perry. Yes, he's the transvestite potter who won the Turner Prize and has since turned into a TV star. But I want to show you why I think he's one of the most important and fun British artists of his generation. First things first, Grayson Perry doesn't just make pots, he's also made prints, sculptures, drawings and tapestries. Currently on tour are some of my favourites, six tapestries called The Vanity of Small Differences, which you might remember from the Channel 4 series, All in the Best Possible Taste. It's a really blisteringly funny but dark tale showing a central character called Tim Rakewell as he makes his way up the echelons of British society only to meet a tragic end and it's all rendered perfectly in wool, cotton and silk. I was lucky enough to get to work with Grayson for a couple of years on a big book about his life and work and one of the things that became apparent really quickly is his obsession with taste and class. He calls this work his safari through the taste tribes of Britain. I suppose all my big themes are kind of quite social. Class and taste, you know, it talks about our education, the way we talk, what we eat, what we wear. You know, it has all these huge repercussions. This series of tapestries was inspired by Hogarth's A Rake's Progress, an 18th century series of prints. But where Hogarth's anti-hero aspires to wigs and paintings, Grayson's anti-hero aspires to a lovely, nice middle-class girlfriend and dinner parties and wine and ciabatta. Each of these tapestries is based on a classic painting of a religious scene. This one is based on a Renaissance version of an Annunciation, where the angel Gabriel tells Mary that she's going to bear the Son of God. This one really makes me laugh because I think of myself in this picture. This is the middle classes, we've got the organic vegetables, I sometimes buy organic vegetables. There's a cafetiere, there's the Italian coffee pot on the stove, I've got one of those. You kind of see yourself in any one of these pictures and it makes you cringe a little bit but it also makes you laugh at yourself. Here we are and Tim is now a member of the upper classes but there are storms brewing with protesters standing on his lawn. Now what I love about all of these images is their sense of craftsmanship. Although they're made using a mechanical loom, each of them is actually drawn out and coloured in by hand and you get a real sense of that handmade quality in the weave of the fabric. So we're at the end here of Tim's story and he's lying dead fatally wounded in an Essex street, so we find out because he's just crashed his new Ferrari, showing off to his younger second wife. And all around him are the images of consumerism, a BP sign, the McDonald's logo, a Louis Vuitton handbag. This is the end of the morality tale, telling us that vanity and consumerism are going to end in disaster. These tapestries are, in the end, an amazing way into the world and mind of Grayson Perry. What I think I love most about them is not just their colour and all of that craftsmanship, but it's their incredible pathos cut up with biting satire. I notice stuff. As some little kid once said, what do artists do? They notice stuff. If you get a chance to catch the tapestries while they're touring the UK, I thoroughly recommend it.